Okay, guys, today we are going to make apple crisp. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, so we're going to make some gluten free apple crisp. Or really, it's gluten free because I'm using gluten free flour, but you can just substitute normal flour and you can make yourself a delicious apple crisp as well. So the ingredients that I'm going to use, here I have about eight um, apples that I sliced up here. I have one cup of oats here, this is gluten-free oats. I have one cup of gluten-free flour, but like I said, you can use regular flour. I have half a cup of sugar. We're going to use two teaspoons of this mixed spice. Now this mixed spice has cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves and ginger in it. So we're going to use two teaspoons of this mixed spice. We're going to use two tablespoons of water. This is a quarter cup of almonds that I grind up in my um, coffee maker. Now what I did, I just took a quarter cup of the whole raw almonds, I toasted it in the oven and then I put it in my coffee grinder and I got it into this powder um, consistency here. So a quarter cup of almonds, um, a quarter cup of cranberries, this is about a quarter cup of um, clarified butter and one teaspoon of vanilla essence. So these are all the ingredients we're going to use in order to make our apple crisp. So let's get to putting everything together. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put some the, the water in our apples. So we're going to add in our two tablespoons of water. I'm just going to mix that. And now to this, I'm going to add two teaspoons of the mixed spice. And to this, I'm also going to add one teaspoon of vanilla essence. All right, so let's just mix everything together. now is we're going to put it in our greased um, pie dish here. I, I just grease it with some butter. One thing I forgot to mention is some salt. So let me get a little sea salt just to sprinkle over it. So I guess you can put about a um, quarter teaspoon, sorry, about a quarter teaspoon of salt. So what we're going to do now is we're going to wipe out this bowl and we're going to mix our crumble for the top. Alright, so we're going to add our one cup of flour, one cup of oats, half a cup of sugar, quarter cup of almonds, um, in my case I ground up my almonds, if you want to chop it roughly you can do that, quarter cup of cranberries and about a quarter cup of the clarified butter. So this was in the fridge so it's cold, so when you are making it and if you use a regular butter you just use um, the butter that you have in the fridge and all, what we want to do now is just mash everything together with your washed hands to get a sort of like a breadcrumb consistency all right 
So now we're going to add this to the top of our apples here. Now I have enough here for another batch. So what I'm going to do is store this in my refrigerator for when I need to make another um, apple crisp. So we just put this out here like that. All right. So now we're going to put this into our oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so our apple crisp is now completed. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you haven't subscribed already to my channel feel free to do so once again thanks for watching bye for now